Here we are once again with our three different scanner uh, cording options here. You have a tethered scanner, which is going to be the least expensive. On the high end, you've got Bluetooth hardware that has a radio inside. and would have a modem that's connected to a PC. You also have um, some other models called batch scanners, which can store the information locally and then reconnect uh, to a PC at some later time. The difference in price can be quite extreme here. You can find the tethered scanners are going to be anywhere from 20 to 50 percent the cost of a Bluetooth scanner. And it's not just the hardware of the radio itself, but rather the modems and the extra cables and things like that. So um, when you need to scan information and you're not going to be close enough to a PC, traditionally you've been kind of locked into these uh, wireless batch scan or Bluetooth scanners or these cordless batch scanners. These are really quite nice, but now they're being end of life, and so they're not going to be around much longer in the Code Corp family, and they're trying to push people off onto these uh, Bluetooth scanners. Good scanners, but quite expensive. Um, fortunately, in the Code Corp family anyway, you can actually create batch scanner functionality in a tethered model with the addition of a simple battery pack, such as these that you'll find for charging uh, cell phones, iPods, iPads, that kind of thing. Right. So what we have is a little 9-inch cable, and we have a, a common battery pack. We're going to go ahead and uh, use that battery pack to power this scanner and collect some data. And it's pretty compact when you walk out there. I'm just going to go ahead and scan three different records here. And when you come back to your PC, you're going to unplug, put your battery pack away. Now, with anybody else's scanner, it's stored dynamically uh, with dynamic memory, and so you're going to lose your, your memory. Here, I'm going to plug back into a PC. And as soon as Windows recognizes it, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the data here. I've got previously, I guess I've done this. I'm going to clear that out and put it in Excel for cell A2. A little command, a configuration command code here on my desktop that I scan. And that tells the scanner, okay, upload all the data that you've got stored inside. It's a neat little feature available only on the CodeCorp tethered line with battery packs and cable kits from ID integration.